A major win for survivors of catastrophic crashes in Michigan. The state appeals court ruling today that changes to no-fault auto insurance can't be applied retroactively. The new law took effect in July of 2021, changing the way people receive benefits through car insurance policies. But two crash survivors argued they bought car insurance before that change and should have access to the benefits they were promised at the time of purchase. In a two-to-one opinion today, the appeals court agreed, saying not only did lawmakers not clearly demonstrate that changes would apply retroactively, even if they did, it would violate Michigan's constitution. We do want to note this is probably not the end of this case. It'll likely be appealed up to the state Supreme Court. Crash, crash survivor advocacy group, we, uh, we can't wait, wrote in response to the ruling saying, quote, we are hesitant to uncork the, champ, uh, the champagne until we learn more from our legal counsel. We are concerned that our members are interpreting this as being effective immediately and applies to everyone who was injured prior to the law reform. And we will continue our strong efforts to write the law completely for all Michigan citizens. And while that decision from the appeals court is seen as an important step forward by advocates of crash survivors, they still want a legislative fix. Today, a group of them called on Kent County commissioners for help with that push. Our Michael Martin has the story. We hope with your letters of support and individual conversations that we can help make this something that the state does in fact take up. When Michigan's no-fault auto insurance law changed in July of 2021, it substantially lowered the amount of money that insurance companies are required to reimburse local care providers for services like in-home caregivers and medical transportation. We are hearing from the senators and the reps, you were an unintended consequence. With about 18,000 people currently receiving benefits through no-fault policies in the state, advocates say the changes are forcing care companies to either shut their doors or stop taking no-fault patients. I'm asking for your support, not for me as a worker, not for the hundreds of companies that have already gone out of business, but for the people who are going to be ripped away from their families and their caregivers who need that support. On Thursday, several survivors and the people who take care of them address the Kent County Board of Commissioners, asking them to sign a resolution to lawmakers pushing for a legislative fix. I have no help. I don't know what I'm going to do. You guys need to do something about this. It needs to be fixed now. 35 counties in Michigan have adopted similar resolutions. We do believe that, again, it was an unintended error um, to cut free market rates by 45 percent and, and make it so that care was not able to be delivered. Without something on the books guaranteeing patients the services they were promised when they purchased their auto insurance policies, People like Melissa Springfield worry that they may soon lose access entirely to certain services. I can't be home by myself. It's a very humbling thing to have to depend on someone to help you with the most basic of life activities, such as using the bathroom, using the toilet, taking a shower. I want them to understand that living in a hospital or in a nursing home is not an option for people like Melissa. Taking care of her is something I take a lot of pride in and a lot of caregivers do. And now we are being taken away from these people who need us. Because of standing commission rules, the commissioners did not agree to sign a resolution, but did agree to sign a letter that would then be sent to state lawmakers. There are so many people who need the care. There's so many people who want to provide the care, but they cannot afford it. Multiple board members agreed that they would sign the letter and said they would continue looking into the matter. You know, I think that the legislators who voted for this legislation that passed uh, probably thought they were doing something good. It's noble to try to lower rates. You know, that's a, that's a noble thing. But I think they were ultimately sold a bill of goods because the devil's in the details on some of this stuff. Michael Martin, Fox 17 News. According to CPAN, a group dedicated to restoring Michigan's no-fault auto law, at least eight people have died since the changes took effect last year after losing some portion of care.